ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਸੋਚ ਸਾਸਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਸਾਸਤੇ Tristan, Tristan's uh, laptop was uh, dying, and um, he resuscitated the laptop by charging it. Alright, so he's on there. Yeah, friends, so we're going to go to a website called aggie.io. Yeah, that is a website. You just go to aggie.io, and it's a place where you can draw uh, on your own or with other people. Um, okay. First of all, if you haven't met me before, hi, my name is Mr. Jengis, and I'm from Cold Speak Labs. And me and as well as a few of our other instructors, we do videos, tutorials, uh, and live streams like this one on YouTube every week. So please like and subscribe if you can, if you want. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, friends. And in the chat, you can also share with me. What do you want to do today? Uh, what do you want to draw today? Um, so we have some ideas, like um, we can draw the Incarnation School logo. That's a student, uh, that's person's. Uh, school's logo here. Tristan says, I already like this one. Boom. The skin in Fortnite, the fish. Oh. Oh, Rich says, draw Justin. Wow, yes. Somebody said, uh, why don't you, oh, sorry, Justin Gonzalez said, why don't you draw me? And, and I thought that was a great idea. We can draw Justin. I don't, I don't know if I've seen Justin before. I think I might have, uh, but I can try to draw Justin. Well, oh, draw me. So now Rich is like, draw Rich. Okay. Whoa, Tristan has some ideas over here. A dollar bill or a car or something. Okay. Just because that was fourth grade, that's right. Um, okay, these are some good ideas. So what I want to do though today, I want to get started with shapes. And then once we discover all the shapes in Aggie.io, uh, we can start maybe go, coming back to this. And 
Yes, can we get Mr. Jenga's 1K subscribers? That would be awesome. Uh, if we do 1K subscribers today, I will do a Kahoot. Yes. Oh, Justin Gonzalez also says fish or banana. All right. Draw fish. Okay, okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go there as well. This is Aggie.io. This is Aggie.io. And then at the bottom right here, there's like layers. If you double click on a layer, it, it becomes activated. And we're going to be playing around with these levels, uh, with these layers down here. Zoom links. What? And again, friends, you're going to go to HTTP, Aggie.io. Aggie.io is the website. I put it into the chat. And you can, you know, draw along with me. Yeah, Aggie.io is a professional website, kind of like Photoshop you might have heard before. But in Aggie.io, we can draw together. What? Yes. So after we do a bit of practice round, I can send you a link, and you can come in here into my live stream and draw with me. Is that exciting or, or no? You will actually get to draw with me on a live stream. No, Rich and Justin uh, are trying to get on Discord or Zoom or something. Justin says, I can make a Zoom for everybody. Okay. Yeah, Justin might, might be, yeah. All right, friends. So I'm going to start with uh, this layer five over here. I click on my layer five at the very bottom right. And friends, let's click on the circle tool, the ellipse tool, and we can quickly, quickly make some circles there. Oh, that's one. Oh, I need to kind of close all my. Yes, leave. Okay. So we get a circle right here. And then on layer four, you can make a different color circle. So you can pick your colors on the circle at the top right corner. At the top right corner, you can pick a different color and you can make a circle with that color. And my computer is like really slow. Let me uh, find in this guy. And then. And then let me refresh this guy. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so friends, once you go to Aggie.io, you'll see a screen like this. All right, I like that actually. We can put that into a base box project too. All right. Tristan says, how about we draw what Mr. Jengus looks like when he hits 25K likes? I think, uh, Tristan, it was you who said the dollar bills. Maybe we can draw dollar bills around me. I can put my face in here. Which would be kind of awesome. Hold up. So I'm trying to put some circles in here, but it's getting really like not responsive at all. Hey, Dominic. Dominic is here. Oh. Mm. I'm not sure. See if he isn't. Maybe it's this. Oh wow, it's so laggy. Oh, maybe I can make like a dollar bill with my own head. How is Aggie working for you all? How is Aggie working for you all? For me, 
it's a little laggy. Yeah, Tristan? Huh, weird. It's really not working well for me at all. I'm moving around, actually. Go to this layer. Mm -hmm. Tristan says, is your internet switched to Altus? Wow. I don't know what Altus is. is. Is that a company, Altus Internet? It is. Optimum's higher, okay, evolve to a higher experience. Optimum's entertainment experience brings together, brings together TV, built-in streaming apps, 4K, and more. Whoa, 300 megabits. Whoa, 300 megabits. That's fast. Tristan, uh, I can't do anything. All right. Um, but let me see. You can import images by going to the file and importing something there. Um, how fast is fiber internet? It's kind of like Photoshop, uh, Rich, but I'm having trouble actually making it work because it's doing some random things right now. Mm. And I can't even select it. Oh, I can, I can move it. I'm moving this, okay. Let me double click on this layer and make a square. Okay, I think it's going better now. Uh, I'm going to delete this layer. I'm going to delete this layer too. Okay. Hmm. Why is Wi Fi even a thing? What do you mean? Let me try this out, guys. I think it's going to work a little bit better for me. No. No. Um, okay, but I like the subject that we're getting into, like the internet. Um, how fast is your internet? Rich, Justin, Tristan, uh, who else is here? Anybody else who is here? How fast is, this, is your internet? How can you find out? You can, go to, you can go to Google and say, how fast is my internet? You can actually Google this, and you can run a speed test. You can Google internet speed test to find out how fast your internet is. Doesn't matter on what computer you are, as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi, uh, you can test how fast your internet is. And uh, my internet connection is pretty fast, it turns out. Uh, 136 megabits per second, look at that. That's, that's fast. So slow for Mr. Jengis. I, I, I can, I'm not fine with it, Tristan. I'm really, really fine with it. I think it is fast enough. But what is yours? Hmm. Yeah, go to Wi-Fi speed test or internet speed test. You can Google this and you know, you can check it out, which is kind of cool. And most people, they're about the same. They're about this much. Oh, yeah, okay. 
Friends, I think I'm going to change the plan and do BitFox today. Uh, but I'm going to ask you guys the option. Um, BitFox or Scratch? No risk we're saying here in the live stream. But BitFox or Scratch? Oh, Zoom. No, no Zoom. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's in here. I don't let everybody into my Zoom rooms. All right, we're getting some scratch people. Tristan says scratch, Rich says scratch. I think scratch might be a better option. Yeah. So friends, let's go ahead and go to scratch.mit.edu.
you can make that by clicking on the button down here. This little red button down here. I'm going to put a pink. At the very, very corner there. So make a new sprite. I made a car. And then go ahead and go to costume tab. Go to costume tab. That's better, yes. All right, so you guys are gonna like this. In costumes tab, we can play around with any sprite. Melissa says, I made a fairy, yes. So colorful characters, uh, or colorful sprites, I should say, are even better because we can change their colors to be even more crazy. So friends, I'm gonna go to that costumes tab up here. Go to costumes tab. Oh, so that's a great idea. We can add like a like a person or a cat. Yes. Driving the car. And then, friends, um, after you do that, make sure you convert it to vector. So at the bottom, it says convert to vector. That's going to allow us, it might already be a uh, vector, so it might say convert to bitmap instead. Don't convert to bitmap, convert to vector if you have that option. Uh, that way, this is going to be like a more editable kind of uh, image. And friends, we can move this around, right? We can move this guy around and put it right here. I can double click on it and change the size of it. Small base. I can really play around with it, yeah. Uh, with the buckets tool, I can change some things by changing the fill. I can fill it in here, for example. Actually, let me do a different costume, you guys. Maybe, maybe I should do a fairy too. No, so would it be okay if I did a fairy too? Melissa, would it be okay if I did a fairy too, like you? This is a sensor. Whoa, there are dinosaurs in here. Melissa says yes. Thank you, Melissa. All right. Uh, let's see. Where is the fairy? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. This fairy has a bunch of costumes. All right. Hold up. Let me make a new sprite. Oh. Let me go here and make a new sprite. Find that fairy here. There's G H. Oh, before that. Fairy, fairy, fairy. There we go. Find that fairy in here and then go to the costumes tab. Bam! This is amazing. Okay. This one is already converted to vector. So it says convert to bitmap down here. It's already converted to vector. That allows us to actually move things around. So I can actually, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Melissa, sorry, uh, Melissa, but it's kind of weird. You can take her wings out. Or, I don't know, you can take one leg and put it there. Take another leg and put it there. It's kind of weird. And if you ever, like, want to do undo, uh, control, Plus Z to, oh, can't backspace, uh, to undo. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't worry, no, that by the power of Control Z or Command Z, friends, if you're on an Apple computer, by the power of Command Z, I can go back in time and put everything together. So that's one thing that we can do. You might not want to do that. But another thing that we can do is use the buckets tool. So the bucket tool looks like a bucket on the left side. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, Tristan says, uh, Mr. Jengus, you know how kids prank by saying Alt F4? Um, not their technology teacher. I think I know what Alt F4 does. Alt F4 on a Windows shuts down your um, window, closes your window. Yeah, power of control Z. Power of control Z. Or command Z if you're Apple. Yeah, so but using the bucket tool, this bucket right here, I can pour in some color into the arm and into this part, into the face. Oops. Let me do command Z there. Try to make the ear purple as well. well that's hard. It's a purple fairy. I did him. It's a purple fairy. And I'm going to really, really zoom in to the ear right there so I can make the ear too. Boom. Don't forget the ear. Purple fairy. We expected more from the purple fairy? Oh no, the only 10 people a year. Alright. So, but the thing is, I'm going to go to code and let's try this. Okay, so some of you might know this code already. In the code tab, we can make the fairy, I guess, dance. I'm going to go to control and grab that next costume block and put it in here. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, and let's get a control and oh, wait one second. Bam. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what Rich is saying. Can anyone leave? Melissa, you know this code? Try it out. And but you'll see that each costume is not purple. So you're gonna have to go through each costume and make the fairy purple, if you want her to be purple. This is kind of a cool, cool sprite right here. Let's see what else we got. Uh, any other sprites you'd like, you like? Uh, caps, command, Q. Oh, command, Q, Justin. Yeah, that would be for Max. Oh, let me do this, huh? Apple or Windows? Which one? Apple or Windows? Fishy. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, we got to events first and grab that green flag click first got it and then oh it says windows what okay i'm sensing an animal thing here let's get that fishy there's a fish right here bam look at this fish fishy hmm So if I go to the costumes of fishy, I, you can see that there are three fishes. I mean, four fishes in here. There's a clownfish, Nemo. There is, I, I don't know the name of this fish, but it's Dory, right? And there's this fish and this fish. All right, let's get into this fish. Okay, I can make the fish purple, first of all. That is totally a possibility, and it's very easy to do. From now on, this fish shall be purple. Bam, and I made it so. If you don't want a purple, you can make a control Z to undo. So, or command Z if you are Apple and come back here. What I want to do though, I want to make an 
exploding sprite. What would you like to explode? I want to explode something. So you can use that thing where you can move a bunch of things around, like this one, that one. Um, I don't know if I want to explode a fish. Justin says Mac. Justin, would you also like to explode a Mac? But so it can like explode into pieces like that. You can do this for each one of them. Let me see. I think uh, cats exploding would be cool. Cats exploding would be cool, I think. What do you all think? Yes, I want to explode this cat right here. Yeah, when I click on it, it's going to explode into pieces. So I go to the costumes of that cat, and I'm going to take away the second. No, I'm not. This is a digital cat, Tristan. No cats were hurt in the making of this project. No cats were hurt. So I'm going to delete that first one, uh, but I can grab the head and put it up. So let me do this. First, friends, let's do this. So it's like, no, we're slow. It's happening, you guys. This cat is going to explode. Good. Oh. Uh, so first, friends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate. Yes, you can right click or you can do the two finger click, or you can do the control click, or the command click, I believe, no, control click, to duplicate this cat, right? So I can move the hat head up. So already we see the frame of the animation. First frame is this, second frame, head separates. First this, next this. I'm gonna duplicate that. I can move the arm over here, and I can rotate the head a little bit using this little arrow right here. There's a little arrow pointing like a, like a curve. And I can rotate the head a little bit, because when it's exploding, it's going to rotate a little bit, I think. Then put this here, that there. So we start with this cat, and then we go, hat, the head is kind of dislocating, and then it's more body parts. Justin says, why? Why not, uh, Justin? But no cats were hurt in the... No cats were hurt in the making of this game. Okay? I did not hurt anyone or any cat. Okay. Next, I can duplicate that. Do the right click on the cat on one of the frames and duplicate. This next frame can be even further. Head is rotating, arms going around. This one is rotating. Oh, Justin, yes, the, the fish is gone. Have you seen the fish? This is what the fish looks like right now. I totally destroyed that fish. Um, and I am destroying the cat. I'm, Still destroying it. Oh. And I'm gonna duplicate this again. Actually, let me do this first. I'm gonna use that brush tool and make like a little red um, explosion. This is not blood. Nope. This is an explosion. This is an exploding cat. And I'm going to duplicate that. So, so far we have this. And then head separates. And then body parts start separating. And then we see the explosion in the beginning. And then here, I'm going to make this one kind of like yellow. Oof. But around it, I'm going to put that red. Wow. 
Is there a game called Exploding Kittens? Do you actually explode kittens in that game? Because that would be horrible. Very scratch, you guys. All right, so I see that we have uh, 10 viewers right now. Um, if this stream gets 10 likes, we'll do a Kahoot at the end. Oh, yeah. Melissa says, yeah, there is a game where there are cats. Yeah. There are, like, do you explode them? Justin, I'm not sure, but I think so, Justin, yeah. I'm not exploding a cat right now. I'm just simulating that explosion. We have nine likes right now, friends. If we get ten likes, I'll do a Kahoot. We are approaching the end of the live stream. It's going to be the last 15 minutes, maybe. Can do a cahoot about colors. Yes, this will not be an easy cahoot, but it will not be a hard cahoot either. All right. And then I want to make this one all red and even bigger with like orange all around it. Burr. Burr. And I'm going to write the letters BOOM to, like, make that BOOM. You know what I'm saying? The BOOM. And I can make this, like, marker. BOOM. Oh, man. I feel, I feel bad for this cat now. I do. Maybe this wasn't a great idea, you guys. Oh, look at the cat. It's so cute. Oh, man, come on. Yeah, all right. Um, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> okay, all right. So this is what's going to happen. When I press this space key, when I press that space key, Oh, we got 10 likes, 10 likes. Uh, so when I press that space key, we'll mm, switch costume to cat A. So when I press the space key first, switch costume to the first. That's okay, Rosen. I wrote an Aggie that I didn't work for me, so we went to scratch instead. You can go to scratch, and we just play around with the, uh, oops. We're just playing around with the uh, costumes in here. So I want to do costume tab. Um, Rosen, if you saw this. So first frame is the cat, totally normal. Then the head separates. Then the head and the body parts separate. And then there's an explosion happening. And then boom, and then boom. Uh, and so the cat will explode. So today's project is a little bit weird. So let's see how many costumes I have. I have six costumes, so I'm going to repeat six times. And in here, I'll put the next costume. And let's do wait. Uh, let's see. Can you give me a number between 0 and 1? Let's see, what's the math skills in this room right now? Can you give me a number between zero and one? This gets into maybe fractions or decimals. While that's happening, friends, I'm going to explode my cat. Oh, yes, negative 68, negative something. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, hi, Lyle. Oh. Uh, Rich, Rich's Wi-Fi uh, passed away. Hmm. A number between... So not one, but not zero either, but something in between. So I don't have one cake. I don't have zero cakes either, but I have something in between. Like... A part of the cake. So what's a yes? The question is, what's a number between zero and one? Can anybody put it into the chat? So minus negative numbers would be less than zero. I'm looking for something in between zero and one, or zero and one. Mm. So, so you wouldn't have one cake. You wouldn't have zero cakes. You would have maybe a half cake, like a half, which would be 0 0.5, for example. Half means 0 0.5. That's right, Lord Lynn. And 0 0.5, I can click on green flag, and it's going to make that animation a little bit faster when I press that safety. Whoa. All right, guys, this is my exploding kitten. I am proud. Oh, this is an exploding kitten. But it's missing something. What is my cat missing? What is my exploding cat missing? It's missing something for that explosion. What could it be? Well, Rich just said that. No, I mean, when you explode, do you just see an explosion? Do you also... Oh. Oh, wow. Farham says, do you know how to code? Do you even code, bro? Sound, Rosalind, is for the win. Yes, sound. So I'm going to go to sound, friends. And usually it's, we have the meow sound. This is the meow sound. It's cute. We could add that sound in here. So I'm going to go to sounds and start sound meow. So I changed the background to a space background. So this cat will explode on the moon. Oh, wow. I can put you guys on timeout here. Wow. Cool. All right, friends. I'm going to go ahead and I think we have about 10 minutes. I got my exploding cat. You know what? I'm not happy with the sound, so I'm just going to add another sound in here. Uh, let's do effects. And inside effects, let's go to a blue bar. Yes, I like that. And instead of a meow, let's do a boom cloud. And guys, I just want to, I just want to make some music too. Can I just make some music? Yes. All right. And when green flag is clicked, forever. Sound. Sound. All right. When I press the space key, explosion. Don't worry, the cat is safe. When I press the space key, explosion. Thank you. 
All right, friends. I'll open up the Kahoot and click on play. And friends, I will share this project in the description to this video. But let me go ahead and open up Kahoot. This Kahoot will be about colors. It sounds easy, but it's not too easy, I think. I'm glad, Melissa, I'm glad you liked it. So, friends, you can go to, I'll put the link into the chat, www.kahoot.it, and enter the pin number 3046220. Which of the gamers is here? Al Frozen is here. Okay. Uh, Justin the game is here. Tristan Eight is here. Melissa is gonna be pink queen. Yeah. Uh, Melissa, are you joining in? Do you need some help to join in? Melissa, you're gonna be you're gonna go to this link right here. Jaden is here. Pink Queen is here finally. And the pen is three zero four six two two zero. All right, Jacob is here as well. I am clicking on start in three, two. Zoe is here. One. And zero. I'm starting the game, everyone. Okay, so this one is about colors. You might see the question a little bit late, but that's okay. I extended the time, so you have a lot of time to answer the question. What color is this flower? Whoa. That's weird. Can I skip this question? Hold on, guys. That's, that was weird. I'm just going to skip that one. All right. Okay. What color is this monster? Sorry, friends. The first question didn't have the flower on it, so I just skipped it. So, friends, you might see the question a little bit late on the YouTube, but I extended the time so you'll have a lot more time to answer the question. Okay, orange was the correct answer. All right, that was a bit uh, questionable because of the, of the bugs, but what color are these M&Ms? Oh, I see. Sorry guys, I'm gonna move myself. I forgot that I'm down there. I'm Okay, alright. So, alright, this is working a little bit better. So far, let's see what's going on. All right. What color is Dory? So Dory from Finding Nemo. What color is she? Check their colors, friends. Check the name of the colors and what color choice they are. They're different. All 
so high. Here Blue doesn't mean blue. Yes, Tristan. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Uh, Frozen in first place, Rich the Gamer in second, Zoe just jumped up to third, Jaden is in fourth, and Justin the Game is in fifth. Friends, I'm going to speed up to the next few questions. What does yellow and blue make? When you combine some yellow and you combine some blue, you put them together. What color do you get when you put yellow and blue together? Yes, the correct answer was green. Let's go to the next question. Quick, quick, quick. All right, how many visible colors are there in the rainbow? You can Google this if you want to, but if you know it already, you can answer it super fast. Yes, that's right. There are seven colors, visible colors, in the rainbow. Okay, friends. What color do you get when you mix red, green, and blue? When you mix all of the primary colors together, what color do you get? Could be green. Boom. Yes, the correct answer was white. All right, friends, I'm going to make this last question because we're at running out of time. This is a multi select. Oh, it shouldn't be a multi select. There's only one correct answer here. What color do you get when you have none of the primary colors? Was black. When you get none of the colors, then you get black. Guys, I'm going to end it right there. Let's see that podium. Let's see that podium. Third place goes to Zoe. Congratulations, Zoe. And Rosalyn in second place. Whoa, and Rosalyn in second place. Who's in first place then? Rich the Gamer took first place. Wow, but F. Rosalyn was in first place for a long time. Jaden and Justin share fourth and fifth places. Boom. That was awesome! Congratulations, Rich, Rosen, and Zoe for getting on the podium. Thank you all for joining. Um, Tristan, next time we're going to have to hack proof your computer uh, so that you don't get hacked when you try to join the Kahoot. And good job, everyone. That was awesome. That's right, Rosen. Mm -hmm. Yay! All right, everyone. Uh, next week, Miss Asia will be here. 
um, to show you how to draw on Aggie.io. Hopefully, Aggie works better when she's live streaming. And friends, next time, we should totally do a more difficult code than this one, because that was really easy, I think. And friends, uh, I'm not going to see you for the next two weeks. I'll be back after the holiday break. And I just want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Happy New Year to you all. Happy New Year to you all and Merry Christmas. Be safe, everyone, and see you next time.